Hello, my name is Dr. Sajjo Parakadal. I'm, I'm a urologist in Winter Garden, uh, Florida, just near Orlando. And my talk today is going to focus on image-guided focal laser ablation for prostate cancer treatment with the CLS Tramberg system. Um, I'm a private urologist, uh, and I perform a lot of office-based procedures. And uh, that's one of the reasons I love this procedure, because it can be done in the office just with a little bit of IV sedation. So really makes it comfortable and easy for the, uh, for the patient. So why is this important? Well, localized prostate cancer really seems to be increasing. Um, this chart shows uh, some data points across Europe and the US where you can see that there's been a gradual kind of increase in the number of patients diagnosed with localized prostate cancer. And it's expected that uh, this number will definitely increase significantly over the next several years. Um, and we're estimating there'll be about 1.7 million men diagnosed with localized prostate cancer in 2040. So that's why it's important uh, to develop uh, new options and approaches to, to deal with this increasing population of men that uh, are going to have this issue. So what are the treatment options for localized prostate cancer currently? Well, the classic treatments are active surveillance. And then uh, when these patients decide they want to pursue treatment, then we would switch to either radical prostatectomy or radiation therapy. Uh, the problem with some of these therapies is that um, there's some severe side effects in terms of impotency and incontinence, um, and it's a bit involved. And so for many patients that get this diagnosis, it can feel like a huge weight on their back because they have to decide, you know, do I do active surveillance and deal with follow-up, you know, PSA testing and have that kind of back of my mind, or do I jump into uh, treatment uh, with some potential side effects. And so it makes the decision process really difficult. What we're proposing is that laser focal therapy could be considered a third option. So the goal here is uh, how do we obtain the best of both worlds? Um, you know, the advantages of active surveillance where there's minimal side effects, and then also the benefits of radical therapy in terms of curing the cancer. And so essentially what we're looking for is um, could we use laser focal therapy as a bridging uh, therapy to eradicate the targeted abnormality, um, you know, improve the quality of life, save, um, you know, save um, basically uh, the patient's um, quality of life in terms of minimizing side effects and potentially use this as a retreatment option or even a salvage treatment after uh, for example, radiation therapy or so. And so the question is, could laser focal therapy fit this need or fit this void? Um, and what I'm going to do today is talk about some of the different options and the rationale of using focal laser ablation uh, in this setting. So what is the rationale behind this approach? Well, is it effective in deleting the target disease or disease you know, generating tissue? Um, it's a safe procedure, there's quick recovery, and it's also very cost effective. As we go through the uh, progression of medicine now, there's more and more focus on terms of the, folk, the cost effectiveness of all these treatments. And so developing more cost effective treatments that possibly could be delivered in an office setting allows the patient to have a quick recovery, would be a lot safer, and, and if we have effective treatments that can control the cancer, uh, this makes these kind of options very, very successful and very attractive. Um, so what is focal laser ablation? Well, it's an image-guided um, laser ablation procedure that can be performed in an outpatient or office setting. The graphic here just shows how we perform this. It's a transperineal ultrasound-guided imaging a modality. You could do this with MRI guidance as well, and there's some new MRI imaging systems that are office-based as well that are coming about. And so uh, our imaging that we can deliver in the office is getting better and better. Uh, but essentially, um, we use one of these imaging modalities to perform real-time focal laser ablation. Uh, we use some temperature probes to monitor real-time to ensure that the ablation is occurring in a very controlled setting within defined areas within the prostate. 
This animation here shows uh, essentially how the procedure is performed. Um, the system is very compact and uh, makes it really amenable to small office space procedure rooms. Um, basically, we place an ultrasound probe transrectally to avoid real time uh, imaging of the prostate. You can do uh, cognitive fusion or image guided fusion if you'd like to further localize the image that may have been defined in MRI previously. And then essentially we're placing a laser uh, probe into this target area and using temperature monitors or probes around the area uh, to basically ablate that region of the prostate where the cancer uh, resides. Now, since this is such a precise modality, uh, what we're doing now for many of our patients is ablating some surrounding areas carefully while preserving the nerves on the outside and making sure that there's no damage to the rectum or any surrounding structures. So that way we allow the patient to get kind of the most bang for their buck. We want to make sure that we're effectively treating uh, the cancer area, but also some surrounding areas to make sure that we're getting a great uh, normal margin uh, of treatment. Now the system, uh, the specifics of the system, basically the operating wavelength for this laser is 1,064. Uh, it doesn't require a cooling loop, uh, loop so uh, it, it, this makes the delivery of the energy very easy. It's a transperineal or transrectal approach. Um, I'm, I've been using in the office, using a transperineal approach since it matches my transperineal prostate biopsy, so it makes it a lot easier. And image guidance could be MRI fusion or transrectal ultrasound. It is commercially available. And so far, we've treated over 250 cases overall uh, with the system. Uh, the system comprises of an office-based unit that delivers the energy, the Tranberg laser that comes in uh, uh, two different options in terms of the depth of ablation, a guidance system or delivery needle that allows us to deliver the laser into the prostate, and then some Tamburg temperature probes that allow us to deliver the energy very carefully and uh, accurately to the area of interest. This is a little video that shows the real-time treatment. And so it's super easy. Um, you know, once the ultrasound, the uh, laser probe has been placed, uh, as kind of shown here um, under the transrectal guidance, uh, we then activate the laser and uh, deliver the energy. Now, on ultrasound, sometimes you can actually see real-time changes in the tissue, which is kind of neat in that it makes it easier for visualization to make sure that we're definitely completely ablating the area of interest. Now, the temperature probes are a secondary protection because uh, we place them near the areas of interest. So, for example, uh, we'll place them near the urethra or the lateral neurovascular bundles or near the rectum because these are the areas we want to protect. So we ensure that we're not causing any thermal damage in those areas and allows us to precisely deliver an effective amount of ablation to the area of concern uh, and really makes this procedure uh, uh, quite simple. Um, so how does this work? How have the patients been responding? How are they doing? with this treatment. Uh, this is just a patient testimonial of a recent patient that uh, we just performed. Uh, following the procedure, I had virtually no discomfort from the procedure itself. Uh, I took a, a little bit of Tylenol, um, just basically heading off any swelling in that. I pretty much so side effect uh, free at this point. Um, I had minimal um, side effects before the procedure as far as retaining uh, urine and not being able to empty my bladder completely. And now that uh, following the procedure, I seem to be functioning much better. So overall, uh, uh, you can see that it's really well tolerated and uh, uh, we don't seem to have too many side effects with the patient so far. Uh, we've done about 20, case, uh, 20 cases so far. Uh, 19 to be exact, and we're located in Winter Garden. It's right next to Orlando. Um, we perform these procedures in the office just under a little bit of IV sedation. Um, I have a CRNA that comes in, and um, uh, we do this under mild sedation. And so far, um, we've had some great outcomes, and the patients seem to be tolerating this really well. Uh, we'll know more of the oncological control data within about a year or two, but so far, um, all the patients have had a drop in their PSA levels, 
And part of our protocol is we'll do a follow-up prostate biopsy a year later to really uh, document whether or not this is effectively working. Uh, and so far, the results have been uh, very promising. So once again, um, um, it's a great treatment option uh, for an office-based system. And CLS has a mobile service program where uh, it really makes it easier for the urologist to deliver this to his, uh, uh, his or her patients uh, in that there's no upfront costs, there's no capital equipment expenses. It's a per case rental system. And um, it allows um, uh, the system to be brought into very small office spaces. I put down this picture of our uh, small procedure room uh, because uh, our office uh, procedure room is quite small. It's only about 11 or 12 feet square. And so uh, we've, we've packed a lot of equipment into this area and space, but it shows that uh, these kind of treatments can be done really effectively with minimal resources. And uh, the bottom line is uh, what we're hoping to do is really provide cost-effective care to the patients in a office setting to minimize patient discomfort, improve patient um, outcomes, and minimize any side effects. Um, so with that, um, I'll conclude my talk and uh, uh, feel free to reach out to me directly if you have any questions or issues. And uh, once again, my name is Dr. Sergio Paracadal. Uh, our practice name is Avon Concert Urology. And then you can also reach out to CLS, obviously, and they'd be glad to uh, help you get up and running.